It means a great deal to me because this is the, a medal from the Royal Academy of Engineering, which is the premier academy concerned with engineering. It's a medal for sustained achievement, uh, not simply for uh, one particular achievement, but for achievement over a long period of time, in my case a very long period of time. Yeah, I was lucky enough to work with Professor Ken Evans when I was in Bristol, and he was appointed the first Professor of Radiology in Cardiff. And because we'd worked together in Bristol and got on so well, he thought it would be a good idea for me to join him in Cardiff, which I did, uh, having, first of all, actually built for him an ultrasonic breast scanner with the breasts immersed in water. That was the first ultrasonic breast scanner that worked in that way. And then I came to Cardiff and worked with Ken on a number of different applications. I was lucky enough to come into medical ultrasound when it was really nothing more than a laboratory curiosity. Uh, in the 1960s. There just happened to be a job where they were looking for somebody who was interested in applying engineering to medicine and it was concerned with ultrasound. So I started first by working on ultrasonic surgery at a time when ultrasound surgery was really uh, one of the main applications, I suppose, of ultrasound. It wasn't yet being used in diagnosis but it was being used for brain surgery. And then I became fascinated by the possibilities of diagnostic ultrasound because papers were just beginning to appear from around the world. Not very many papers. By the 1970s, I already built my first ultrasound scanners. There were about 500 papers in the literature, so it was easy to keep in touch with what was going on. And then uh, that work developed uh, with work in Cardiff, particularly in Doppler ultrasound and in the development of new techniques for making the ultrasonic images sharper. And then I went on from there to work in various other advances, particularly in Doppler ultrasound, and most recently been working on ultrasonic, ultrasonic computed tomography. That's work which I'm doing in conjunction with the National Physical Laboratory. Ultrasonic computed tomography is like X-ray computed tomography, but uses ultrasound instead of X-rays. And the problem with ultrasound is that it doesn't go straight through the tissues like X-rays do. It tends to be, the beams tend to be distorted by the tissue. And the National Physical Laboratory have invented a new ultrasonic detector, which is sensitive not to the phase of the ultrasound, but to the power of the ultrasound. By using this new detector, we're able to get much sharper and informative images, and that, we hope, will have applications in ultrasonic breast scanning, perhaps replacing mammography in younger women. It's something that first seized my imagination before I graduated, the possibility of applying engineering in medicine, and even physics in medicine, of course, on which the engineering is based and uh, that was what first brought me into the field and I found uh, throughout my life that it's been a very satisfying aspect of what I do to see that it has real practical applications not only uh, from terms of industry and wealth creation which is important but also from the benefits it brings to people who are not well and helps to improve the health of the nation and the health of people in this country and in developing countries too.